everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and today I want to make a fun paper bag journal with you guys today using some fabric. And yeah, let's have some fun. So now you don't have to have like pretty fabric sewn together like this. Uh, this is just some fabric that I, uh, that I had that my mom sent me and she's a quilter and I was looking through my scraps. I wanted to do, I want to do a scrap journal with you guys, but I was, I would really, really like this material. So I want to put it together using a paper bag and, um, uh, put it in my Etsy shop and see if you guys want to come check it out. So I thought that would be really fun. So this is some really high end, nice material. Uh, like I said, my mom is a quilter and she gets it from uh, the like nice specialty stores and you know stuff like that and uh, and then she's really good at sewing it and you could see that it's kind of neat. It kind of looks like rolling hills and stuff and then like ocean or something down here. So I figured I need to make a journal cover with it. Okay, so what I did, I got one right here already ready like this. But what I did is you take the bottom of a paper bag and you just cut it, just cut all the way across here. And then you use the bottom half of it. So it's that easy. And here we go. And I had a comments on my last video that I showed you guys how to make the paper bag journal. And uh, I put like ephemera and stuff in the little pockets and kept it like that. But she said, well, why not do like journaling cards and stick it in? like this. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. So thank you. Thank you. I forgot who your, what your name was. I'm so sorry, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And we will definitely do that today. So I'm jumping ahead here, but I'm just going to round these corners. Uh, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and start off. We'll do that later. <laughs> jumping ahead. So this is the inside of it. And what I did is I just folded it in half like this. And <clears throat> I made a crease on each side to do just a little cute spine like that. So you could take a scoreboard if you have one, which I do not. You can take one of these tools, just like a little scoring tool and do it that way. And for some reason in these bags, it's the way the glue is like as I fold it, it kind of folds like this. So I just went like that and then it's really hard glue in the middle here. So they must glue it together right through here, but it makes it so it makes a nice spine. But what you could do <clears throat> if you don't have a scoring board is just go where you want it like that. And then just don't push too hard. You'll poke a hole So go like that and then do the same thing. Move it over as far as you want. And then just do a crease here. And then you can go like that. And use your phone folder. And go like this. Okay. And this is just some uh, art glitter glue. I'm just catching all the little edges here. They're sticking up. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and getting out your paper bags and some material and, uh, well, you know, like I always say, it doesn't have to be sewn, but I will be sewing today, but anything I do, you can glue. Uh, also you can use paper. You don't have to have fabric. So this is just what I like to use. And, uh, yeah, so it's all versatile. Okay, so I'm just trying to glue that down. All right. So we're gonna open it up. I'm trying to get the keys. Okay. And what I want to do is I want it this way. I think there's a little sea turtles. I'm just part of them. So I don't know if I'm gonna use those at the top. I don't know if you can see that. Um, make sure you guys are in frame. That would probably help, huh? That would help the video. Okay, so I'll stay right about there. 
All right, so this is gonna be the outside of our journal. Okay, and I want this to be the top. So I'm gonna turn it. And it doesn't matter top or bottom, but I'll go like this. And I am just gonna line it up where I want it. Get it where you want them. All right. And let's do some Fabrifix glue. So that's about where I'm gonna want it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just kind of tacking down. I don't want big globs because I don't want it soaking through the material. So I'm just doing lightly because I'm gonna sew. But if you are not gonna sew, go ahead and put a good amount on it and then either uh, spread it with your finger or you know, you could uh, put gloves on and do it that way or just however, just kind of spread it out. Uh, just so you don't have big globs going through and coming through the material. seams coming up. I just want it to stick enough here. I'm going to go ahead and cut my cutting board here. Cut around the edges. I'm just gonna cut it to the edge like this. Pretty. I know it's just so neat. I love everything in it. All right, so let's see. We'll go ahead and get our creases here a little bit. So far, so good. So before I do some sewing around the edges, this is when you're gonna want to put in your ties. So let's see. I don't know how long I need them. Let's measure. Um, maybe 15, 15 inches should be good. This is just seam binding. And what I'm gonna do is just it's open spot. See it's open right here. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of glue. Um, but if you're not sewing, go ahead and use a little bit more. I'm just tacking it down because it'll get sewn in there. So I'm 
just taking a little glue, putting it here and here, top and bottom. And then just sliding this in. Just about a half inch or an inch, so just like that. Make sure they're lined up. Because that wouldn't be good. You don't want them crooked. Just want to make sure that they're when you close it that they're going to be lined up so when you tie it all right so we got that far and then now i'm going to go to my sewing machine and i'm going to do zigzag stitch around and i think that's it I mean, I'm not gonna sew on the inside or nothing because I really like the pattern that I got going. So I'm gonna go do some, just zigzag around. Okay. So I just did it in white thread all the way around. Make sure you guys can see it. So you can see I just did some zigzag. I guess it's kind of hard to see because it is white, but. Yeah, so I just did it in that. And I thought that looked good like that. So we're just, oh, and I wanted to tell you guys, as you're sewing around, make sure that your, your uh, closures aren't tucked under like that when you're sewing. Make sure it's out. I should have told you that before we sewed. So just make sure your closures are out like this and then run it through your sewing machine. Because you don't want it underneath like that, because then it'll be all wonky. And we don't want it wonky. Okay, so I'm just cutting off the threads here. And let's see. I, can't, I really like it just the way it is, but I wonder if we should put something on it. Let me look through my stash and see... And maybe we could put something on the cover here. So let me go look. I'll be right back. Okay. So I found something cool. So I got this blue netting, which I really like. And I got this really cool butterfly material. All kinds of stuff. But let's see. And it matches really nicely. So many choices of butterflies. Hmm. Okay, let me look through and I'm gonna cut out a couple of them. Yeah, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I went ahead and cut out a little butterfly and made a collage here. So I got the netting, some linen, that I frayed the edges of and kept all the uh, extra little strings to make a cluster. And same with the jeans. I just did a piece of jean material. And I'm gonna put it like this, like that. I'm just taking the netting and just kinda gonna bend it like that and put it here. And then I want to set the cluster here with this fun little brooch, little faux brooch that I'm just going to glue down because it matches really nicely. So I'm going to glue it on here. Like that. And then stick the butterfly down. So there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my mach sewing machine. Put this how I want it. 
I'm going to take these pieces and I want to sew just all together right here, just so I know that it's going to stay secure. But I'm going to do it like this. So I'm going to take it to the machine and just do some sewing right here. So I'll be right back. So I went ahead and just did a little sewing like that, just to keep it together here. But you could glue it if you need to. Either way. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Fabri Fix glue and glue this part down. For a second. So just whatever pretty papers or materials or anything you have. You can use as a focal point on your journal. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to take this little cluster here. Get it how I want it. And then staple it. Just to help it keep together better. Plus we're gonna add glue to it. I'm put it right here. With, I just thought that matched really cute. That was fun. Okay, so glue this down. You can do a good amount of glue because you want all these little strings to stick. Okay. And then you just take a little glue on whatever. If you could do a button here, you could do uh, another little like uh, die cut or anything like that. So I'm gonna put a good amount on there. There we go. We got ourselves a nice, cute little cluster cover. All right. I'm let that dry for a second while we play with these little journaling cards. So I'm gonna put these on the inside pockets, and I'm just gonna get the corners rounded. Vintage photo. I'll just get the edges real quick. Okay. And uh, I don't know if I told you, this is the Tim Holtz. Ideology scrapbook. Little pieces here. Made into journaling cards. So I'm just gonna take it. Make sure that's glued. Okay. And on the inside pockets, which is part of the paper bag, which I think is so cool. Just go like that. So those go there. And I'm just going to leave the inside of the bag the way it is because I like the fact that it looks, you know, that we made this out of a paper bag, so that's fun. And then there, you got your little journaling cards on the inside pockets. Okay. And got your little tie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I found it informational. And stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to be showing you guys some fun papers. We're gonna do some fun things for the papers that are gonna go inside here. So stay tuned for that one. And um, yeah, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. It helps me out so much. And if you could subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment and share and let's grow together. 
and keep on crafting.